Philosophy is like medicine for the soul. Anything that you're facing, just by making tweaks to your philosophy and how you look at things, you then can come up with a strategy on how to get out of whatever you're facing. It's been said that God never puts anything in front of you that you can't handle. So in a time where so many things are happening around the world, technology is advancing, but the average human is being attacked on so many fronts of psychological warfare. If such an individual takes a step back and looks at the barrage of things that have been infiltrating his, his or her consciousness, the first thing that he can do to actually change the trajectory of his life is to analyze the philosophy that he's been living under up until this point. How many times have I come across people in my daily interactions where the questions that I pose give me profound insight into the fact that the philosophy that this person has adopted literally is the culprit as to why they're in certain tough spots in their life. To talk to the person who says that they don't care about money, but in the next breath explains financial problems. It's very easy for me to understand that the philosophy that they're living under or the way that they identify with money needs to change in order for them to, let's say, get out of the financial bind of not having enough cash. I mean, obviously, if I'm talking with a coworker and the person has worked there for more years than I have, he has the same opportunity for growth. And he's probably accumulated hundreds of thousands of euros over the duration of his employment with this company. But why is it that none of the money has remained in his pocket? Why is it that he's claiming to not make enough money when really the philosophy that a rich person maybe adopts would be a stark contrast to the one that he's living under. So is it that he doesn't have enough opportunity? Is it that he doesn't make enough money? Is it that the whole system is built against him? Or is it the fact that he is living under a, a wrong psychology or a wrong philosophy and has yet to become aware of that to make a change, if at all? I mean, it just goes across the board that your philosophy literally will bring everything to your life as you deserve. Why would it make sense for the universe to change all of its natural laws that are in place to appease humans? We're the only animals on earth that can literally be self-aware and dictate our own reality. We can step away from the programming that's society has given you as a template as to how you're going to live your life. You can step away from that. But a rhinoceros cannot decide that he wants to become a dancer. A tiger cannot decide that he's going to go to the university. You know, I mean, birds follow their program. Whales follow their program. Horses follow their program. Everything except humans follows a program. But we have dominion over the earth for the fact that we're self-aware like i can think about the fact that i'm recording my voice right now and i'm gonna make it into a youtube video in the next few hours i can think of the fact that i'm doing that i can picture myself looking down at my own self with an eagle eye perspective as i'm doing this action right now i'm the only thing on this earth that has that ability which means I can create my own reality just like my last video, but how do I do that? I've tried to say it in so many different ways. Consciousness subdues banality. You tweak your consciousness, that actually gives a ripple effect in everything you're doing in your life. You continue forward with tangible actions because as you're putting in actions, the universe now understands, hey, this person is actually gunning for something and he believes in it and he is now put me in the position to serve it up to him. We are all little fractals of the same thing that created 
literally all there's only one divine consciousness and it is the creator of everything and we are all little fractals of that same consciousness so we all are god collectively we all are the creator expressing itself through us as a vessel temporarily so who's to say that if you're coming from that consciousness and you're not deemed to be an animal who cannot let's say change his philosophy or even have a philosophy then that means you literally can alter anything that you don't like just by making the first alteration in your mind what did i say in the kabbalion when i was talking about that in one of my other videos is that the first law of the kabbalion that he that uh hermes or actually thoth was extrapolating on is that the law of mentalism everything starts in the mind first how many people have you heard about that did miraculous things only because at that moment their mind took over where normally the human would have doubts or worry or fear or would not want to take a risk but something happened in that individual that gave them superpower like there's stories of you know uh i think there was a woman who's son had been run over by a car and she developed the strength in that millisecond to lift the whole car up so that the son could get out from the pressure of the car where does she get that strength from you see the guy who is crazy out of out of shape and then three years later he gets to talk to you about his fitness journey and now he motivates other people and shows them that they also have the power within themselves to enjoy such a change you have the guy who starts out as a you know unfortunate living situation maybe broke maybe had a whole lot of uh problems to overcome but then later he's a very successful entrepreneur and is uh maybe doing a seminar where other people can sign up and learn the tricks of his trade there's so many countless examples even look in your own life when you actually were maybe set to do something and then you accomplished it and you look back at the fact that if you were put in that same situation right now maybe you wouldn't even have the ability to pass the way you did those exams right now that you did in the past but what gave you that gusto what gave you the the ability to overcome what was in front of you at that moment it was your philosophy it was a i'm going to achieve this attitude We're in a time right now where everything is designed to take away your attention, to keep you away from those moments of solitude where everything is off and you get to ponder and actually change your philosophy. You're living in a time right now where society and so many different aspects of life are, are giving you a philosophy are telling you this is the philosophy you need to have in order to achieve this, that, and the third. And it's a facade. The only philosophy that you should live under is the philosophy that you dictate. You should follow. Of course, you can have people like me who drop videos and give insight and let you know that you're not alone on your journey because if you're a thinker in this time, then there are going to be periods in your life where you're going to analyze what's around you and that's physical mental emotional anything that's around you sometimes you need to determine should this stick with me or should this be something that i omit so i understand we're all supposed to create our own philosophy but understand that there are so many great thinkers out in this world and you can take things that they've said you can take things from maybe even the videos I've dropped and you can create your own combination of good points and apply that to your life to get results. I'm doing it. The people that I actually associated with are doing it and all of us are making strides in our life. It's awesome to, you know, look back in a journal and see that I've accomplished all the things that I set out to do in that time. It's motivational to know that I've had friends and family that have reached out and told me that um, they're happy that I'm in their life. And I want the same thing for y'all, you know? So 